What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here, today playing in the final round of the Bioware Classic. As you, well you can't actually see, I was going to say, I might have to go and, uh, and possibly change where my face cam is for this PGA Tour recording, because you cannot see, you can't see the leaderboard, you can't see what hole we're on, you can't see my strokes, you can't see the par, rah, 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 all that stuff. But anyway, playing in the final round of this, um, at the moment we are 34, would you believe it, under. Absolutely crazy, we've had some, um, what, wow, just amazing rounds um, all around, but especially round two and round three, I think we shot uh, 13 under for each of those days and eight under for the first day. Um, so doing, not doing too bad at all. Today we're also trialling um, some new clubs as well, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go and get on. I probably should have put a bit of spin on that, but that's all right. Um, and it really, I think, has been that we were so good in those, um, in those, uh, sorry, round two and round three. I was going to say from our putting, I was going to just go and try and tap that one in, but no, not today. Today it's just ooh, not happening, but that's alright. We've got a commanding lead. I think McElroy's on about 12 under, I think 13 under now we're playing with him. So you can actually see it. It's not too bad that my face cam is where it is, because um, you can see after every hole just how we're going there. So, um, path, ooh. I do This course we're playing in, I'm not too sure what it's called, but I quite like it. I was going to say, just hold up. That's nice. Otherwise, that was going to... If there was no spin on that, that was just going to fly. Absolutely fly. Come on, tap this one in, Cliffy. Tap. Oh, my God, our putting. Where's it gone? It's been incredible in the first three rounds. And as soon as we get on the camera, it turns to shit. How does that work, ladies and gentlemen? I don't know. I do not know. Hole complete, though. We're going to take it. McElroy, I thought, actually, I thought he'd gone and gained a shot there, but no. No, he's still at 12 under. Just absolutely smashing it, eh? Absolutely smashing it. And I think it's just... I, I'm guessing it's just going to go and get harder. I'm guessing it's going to. And um, actually, while we are at the start of this video, I should have done this bang straight in the middle. Um, but there is a... Well, I guess kind of a game mode that they've brought out in this PGA Tour. And it's kind of like a challenge thing. Um, and what you have to do... I'm, I'm not completely sure how it works. Um, but I think you go and, and do different challenges and play different holes and, and all that stuff. And uh, you get stars, and the amount of stars you have, obviously, well, you need to get a certain amount to go and progress to the next level. So if you guys would like to see that mixed in, I guess, with career mode, um, do let me know down in the comments below, and I can look at going um, and doing that as well. I can't quite remember what it's called. I think it's called, like, Nightclub or something. Night Nightclub rings a bell, and there we go. We pick up our first birdie. So 35 under. McElroy actually dropped one on that hole. Um, and yeah, this is a nice course. I can't actually remember the name of it that we're playing on, um, but it's basically like wetlands that you're playing. So this is going to be tough, this shot. Up and over the bunker. Oh, it's not going to have enough. Oh, it gets up. Is it going to stay on? It's going to go off. It's on the fairway, but at least it is not in the bunker. That's promising. Get straight, man. Oh, that's not straight, and it's hit the flag. Too much power. Too much power on that one. So we're just playing at the moment. We're just playing. Um, oh man, what was I? What was I doing there? I completely read the, the <laughs> completely read it wrong, and we get the pass save. So um, that's yeah, that's a, another another wee cheeky five experience that we go and pick up just there and then. So, but yeah, this course is quite cool. It's played around like it kind of reminds me sort of of those uh, who live in. Uh, live in Christchurch or have been to Christchurch and play golf courses. Now I wouldn't really call this a golf course, it's more like a, a public course that you know basically everyone can play. It was called um it was called Ascot Golf. Was it S yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ascot Golf. And um, basically what it is, it was kind of like a council I well, I don't know if it was council owned actually. Um, but basically it was a golf course. Um, it was it was for I guess relatively new golf players you would say. Um, like it wasn't the most challenging of courses, all par threes, um, but it was still good to go and play in, and that was kind of not not as much as this, um, but it was kind of situated around the wetlands. This here you actually play in the wetlands. Um, Ascot was just beside it, so I'll stay on. Oh, actually, I would have liked that to roll off. Actually, would have been a nice wee uh, nice wee chip. I was gonna say we're gonna get this read right. We're gonna get this read right. We're gonna. Oh my. Mm! What's happened to our putting? It's been absolutely incredible the first three rounds, and now we just can't knock in birdies to save ourselves. 
Ah, oh, it's a good thing it's not close. I mean, it's a good thing it's not close. If it was close, we would be in trouble. I'm just going to give this a bit of an extra, bit of an extra boomph, just to get it. Oh, that's going to get up and over easy. It's gone almost. Th it's gone almost 300 on the fly. We've only got another 110 to go. Jesus, you gorilla, Cliffy, gorilla off the tee. What a bloody gorilla! Off the tee, short swing. We probably don't actually need to put that much spin on that one. <sighs> we probably didn't need any spin. A natural spin would have gone and done enough. But uh, nice we. Maybe it just has something to do with the pin location today. Maybe the. Yes. Oh, we finally nail a good birdie off a you know not an easy putt. We finally go and get one. I was going to say maybe it's got something to do with the pin location today. Maybe the pin location isn't in the best of positions. Um, right, if we play like we did the last time, we should we should be able to get this. We might even be able to get this in, in two. It's gone to. Yeah, it's gone to. Uh, no, that's going to be tough. It's still a good 270 to go to the green. And driver's not going to work for us. We might get on, but it might be... Oh, actually, that's not too bad. I was going to say we might get on, but it might be quite short. But it's actually rolled a hell of a lot further than I thought it would. It's still a tough putt, but remember, this is an equal putt. So um, if we can go and even just get it close... Up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to do this without the. Uh... Oh, get in! Ah, just not enough. That was a pretty good read for me, I must say, and that's going to be a pretty easy putt to tap. And you won't be too concerned walking away with a birdie from that. It is. Uh, yes, it is an easy hole. It's a hole that you know you, uh, a lot of players would be going and probably aiming for. You know, maybe aiming for an eagle on, but birdie's still not that bad, you know, like you take it. Oh, that's going to go up into the trees. This is going to be tough. Ooh, dissect the trees. Stop! Stop! Yeah, love it. On a night, on a, just on a dime. Just smash the crap out of that spin button and put that in for another birdie. And Cliffy... Kiss is the putter, the new putter. This is a putter that's only been used once, so um, it's all right to kiss it. You know, it's not a second-hand one. Don't have time for that orange juice, Cliffy. Get it in there. Get it up there. Now this here, if you could make this, if you could make this in two, you're a bloody gorilla. Six hundred and eighteen yards. That is well. I don't even know what that is in, in meters, but that is a bloody big shot. We'll just skip that, skip through that, because there's no no point watching it in the air. Oh, just needed a little bit, uh, again, spin in this game, it's easy, I've said this, I think I said this in the last episode, um, spin is easy when you're trying to get a lot of spin. When you're trying to get a little bit of spin, or just, just enough spin, it can be difficult. It can be hard, and it, it's just—it's more judging it is hard. Um, oh, far out! Another par three. This course seems to be riddled with them. I think there's quite a few, um, quite a few par fives though. Spin back. No, it just stays. That's all right. That's not bad. He's happy with it. Uh, he's, he's, pro he's probably more happy with it than I am, but um, that's all right. That's a good putt. Oh! Hmm. That's a great putt. I thought that was going to drop. And I think I've seen this before in Christchurch as well after we've had the earthquake. So if we get a putt like that that's just sitting on the lip, we just wait for an earthquake. And the earthquake will just go... Shake the ground. Boom. And goes the ball. Not quite the case. Not quite the case. But, um... Yeah. That's... I guess that's something that we always always joke about. Oh, Jesus. What have I done there? Four! Four! Jesus. Sorry, team. Taking those new clubs back. No, we need... Uh, even a hybrid's not going to not gonna really get it done. I'm going to... Uh, oh, no, no, that's not going to have enough. 
I was going to say, we've got to struggle for, uh, struggle for par here. This could be the first shot that we've dropped in a while. Unless we can go and get this close. Which, uh, you know, we, sh we should be able to. Oh! I was going to say, we can get it in the hole would be even better. But uh, just, just a fraction off. So this is for par. Uphill. Slightly left to right. Probably not enough left, but we uh, we get the pass save after being in a pretty tricky situation off the tee. And hopefully, um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. We just went off to the side like something crazy. So another par five. This course seems to be riddled with par. There doesn't seem like I'm. I know I'm, this is going to sound stupid. Like it doesn't seem like there's a lot of par fours, but there probably is. But there seems to be a lot of par, like a lot more par threes and par fives that kind of go and I guess make up for it. So. It just yeah, it just seems like almost every second hole you play um, is either a par three or a par five. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm not really paying too much attention. I don't know. Could be. Could just be that. Chip on. Oh my. Hmm. Wow. We're getting pretty good at this chipping game. Oh my god. It's the bloody putting game we need to work on because it is shit today. This is like me putting in real life. <sighs> Nothing better than orange juice in the morning. I always say that. I was going to say I did. Yeah, yeah, no, I did. I did, I did. No, no. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay. I was gonna say I didn't think I had orange juice in my uh, in my Don Bradman career reborn video, but I did. I did have it because I did them on the same day. I was gonna say yeah, Dan, no, no, I definitely had orange juice. Definitely had orange juice in that video. Why are you so pumped about that, Cliffy? Yes, it's a good drive, but there's no reason to go and bloody drop your clubs and throw up a big fist pump. Is that gonna come around? It is gonna come around. Great shot. Come on, give me that natural spin. Yes, natural spin. I don't think. Oh, you can see the bottom one. I'm just actually looking uh, over on my computer now, and you can you can see the bottom one when there's three. But you um you obviously wouldn't have seen the green and regulation and the natural spin. We get the birdie and the hole complete to move. Amazingly, would you believe it? To 40 under for the tournament. That is just crazy, absolutely crazy. And look, another par three. This is just what I mean. It just seems to like. Just seems to be par threes all the time. That's gonna have to stop. Yeah, bit of bit of backward spin on that one. It's not too bad. See, Cloffy, you should be probably getting a wee bit more excited about that one because that one's probably a better shot than your tee shot. Oh, I thought we'd hit that one too hard. It was downhill by quite a lot. I actually underestimated how downhill it was. And uh, McElroy, give me a challenge, boy. Come on, you're 28 shots behind. What are you doing? And look. Here's another example. Another par 5. They must... I don't know. There just seems to be a lot of par 3s and a lot of par 5s in this. It mu I don't know if it's just me. I'm going to have a look at this... I'm going to have a look at the course um, after this and see the one we played on. But, I mean, maybe it is. Because if you have those par 3s and those par 5s and they level out, you're still obviously going to get your 72, which is the par for most golf courses. Um... You know, and they obviously go and level out, and then you you get the odd one that's obviously a, a par seventy one or um, you know a par seventy three, and that's where they have obviously more. Uh, oh, give them all! God, I thought that was in. That's obviously when they have more or less par threes or par fives um, that don't go and level it out, because obviously eighteen times four is seventy two. So Cliffy doing the robot there. Don't know why we needed that mess lesson in there. I don't know. I just chucked it in. Just explaining, I guess, to those who who aren't who who like watching golf but maybe don't fully understand it. So, and that's fair enough. I mean, golf, golf like cricket is quite a complex game. Like, when you know what's going on and when you know what you're doing, it's all good. If you don't, if you're watching for like the first time or the second time, and you just like, a lot of times you just be like, what the hell is going on? It's like you know, it's like when you go. 
in the summer. I mean, everyone goes to the cricket, you know, T20 and all that stuff. And sometimes you go with mates and, you know, like they're not, they're not the biggest cricket fans in the world, you know, but they still go along for a good time. It's a, it's a good day in the sun and, oh my God, putting. Good day in the sun, you know, just go and watch some of the cricket, sink a few cold ones. Um, but, you know, like they have no idea what's going on. And you just, you're trying to explain to them and explain to them and explain to them. And I guess with me, like I'm quite, I don't want to sound like arrogant or cocky or anything, but across like most sports, um, like I'm quite knowledgeable when it comes to them. So, you know, like ex explaining obviously isn't too much of an issue, but I mean like that's the same like with rugby. Like when I go and, and I'm, oh Jesus, that's hit like a bloody tracer bullet. It's like rugby, you know, like when I watch rugby um, with my family sometimes and, and you know, like mum's not too sure what's going on and stuff and you explain it to her. Um, I guess same with league and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I guess I understand. But then, like, it's the same. If if you got me and sat me down, um, you know, like in front of an NFL game, an American football game, I would have no idea what's going on at all because it's just a sport that I've never really followed or never really gotten into, so... Um, we just managed to, to scrape in there. I don't know how we did that. We scraped in and picked up a par. Saved a par. Right. The 18th. Let's do this. Let's finish off strong. 42 under at the moment. Which is very impressive. I don't know, this golf course, like you'll see at the end when we come when we come up to the uh, to the end of it. Like it's just it just seems like it's just just like a public golf course. You can see to the left, um, basically just like the, I don't know, it's, it's like a clubhouse, but it just seems like a public course. And we're not in the, um, oh, is that going to have enough? It's not going to have enough turn. Jesus, nowhere near enough. Misread that one. Oh, my. It's just like a little, just like a little shack. That's all it is. So fist pumps all around. Cluffy finishes the round 42 under. You can see it there. It's it's not even like it's oh, it's not a shack. Okay, it's like just a house. It's like an old house, a nice house, you know. And um, McElroy actually finished even for the day. We finished eight under. So this was probably one of our uh, our less impressive um, rounds so far, you would say. Um, but still, eight under is a very, very good achievement. So um, we're just going to wait and see what happens next. As you can see, we win by 30 strokes. So that is absolutely bloody outstanding and we're getting paid getting paid that money yeah but you probably actually couldn't see that on the camera I was just like you know like the no don't do that there's probably young people watching I don't know what that is top top in the FedEx Cup standings boys don't know how many points I got it didn't say but I'm 200 points ahead of McElroy Tom Cliff won the Bioware Classic on Sunday his first PGO title Cliff finished with a final round, 8 under 64 to close the victory. Now that I've got one on my belt, I'm confident I can be successful on this tour. Yes! Take that, EA Sports! You ain't sponsoring me no more. I'm sponsored by someone else, I don't know. And uh, we've got an invitational, is that... Graham, no, uh, I can't read what that is. But anyway, guys, I am going to wrap this up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Remember to check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Remember what I said at the start of the video. If you would like to see that um, that nightclub or whatever it's called on this as well as career mode, let me know down below in the comments as well. Hope you all guys have had a good start to your weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for a double upload of Cricket Coach, and we'll see you then.